In this module, you will learn about connective tissues. This is a network of roads that connects different places to each other. Similarly, the animal body also has its own network of tissues that connects different organs and tissues. It is the connective tissue. Connective tissues are of different types, depending on their shape and functions. Let's take a detailed look at each of them. Blood is a type of fluid connective tissue. Blood has a straw-colored liquid part called plasma, which contains water, proteins, salts, and hormones. Blood cells suspended in the plasma include red blood corpuscles or RBCs, white blood corpuscles or WBCs, and platelets. Blood flows within blood vessels and transports gases, digested food, and hormones to different parts of the body. Bone is another connective tissue. It is a strong connective tissue that forms the framework of the body. It is non flexible. Bone cells are embedded in a hard matrix composed of calcium and phosphorus compounds. It is a hard porous tissue that anchors the muscles and protects the internal organs. Take a close look at these tissues that pack and bind various organs. These are fibrous connective tissues. They include ligaments that connect two bones. Ligaments are tough and elastic and provide strength and flexibility. Tendons connect bones to the muscles. Tendons are tough and non elastic and provide great strength and limited flexibility. Another type of connective tissue is cartilage. Cartilage has widely spaced cells suspended in a matrix of proteins and sugars. It is found in the nose, ears, rings of the trachea, larynx, and at the end of long bones to give flexibility. Take a look at these irregular shaped cells. They are areolar connective tissues that fill the space inside organs and supports them. These tissues also help in repairing of worn out tissues. Such tissues are found between the skin and muscles and around blood vessels and nerves. Here's the adipose connective tissue. Cells of this tissue are filled with fat globules. It is found below the skin and around internal organs like kidneys and acts as an 